Well, hi, my name is Mason Gim, and I am an AmeriCorps VISTA member working for a nonprofit called The Gardens Project. And I currently work with a community garden called the Willits Integrated Service Center Community Garden. The community garden has been a recipient of an amazing water conservation grant, and that grant has been used to demonstrate to other members of the community how to conserve water and ways to handle stormwater drainage. Right here behind me, we have an example of a 10,000 gallon rainwater capture tank. The rainwater capture tank is filled by water coming off of the building located next to it. Water from the building drains into the tank and then when the tank is full a float valve closes and the pipe is closed and the water that would be going into the tank then flows into the bioswales that run throughout the length of the garden and outside of the garden redirecting the water to above some fruit trees that we have planted. The rainwater capture tank has a solar system on it that allows us to get adequate pressure to run a low flow drip system to be able to irrigate some land. The garden uses a total of somewhere around 30,000 gallons of water per year and the 10,000 gallon rainwater tank will do about a third of the water use that we need for the entire garden. This year we're going to put all of the rainwater on a no dig garden bed that we have. Using low flow a drip we can um, irrigate about 1,500 square feet. We'll use about 92.6 gallons of water per day. With that, we can irrigate for three months and use a total of 8,334 gallons and still have some left over for other small waterings that we need to do. Um, one thing we love to do with the rainwater is to put it into another tank where we make a large compost tea and we use that in our greenhouse with the special ozonated rainwater and some other microbial materials and chicken manure and sea kelp to create a really good boosting um, water for all of our starts. The solar panel is hooked up to a battery that's hooked up to a pump that maintains a pressure in our irrigation system and uh, makes, the, makes the rainwater tank usable. Before we had the solar panel and the pump on it, the rainwater was coming out of a gravity feed system and was coming out at maybe one to two gallons a minute. And it was really insufficient um, to be able to be utilized as a water source. As a result now, we're looking at like 25 to 30 gallons a minute. And uh, it's, it's very significant and makes the rainwater tank very usable. A bioswale is a term used for a ditch that's dug on contour of a hill where the dirt is piled on the downhill side of the ditch. What this does is it uh, provides a spot for rainwater to collect up and then be transferred around the property. As it is right now, we've got a very large building that was draining all of its water directly into the garden. Since putting in the bioswales, we've been able to redirect that water to outside the garden and to water some fruit trees with it, as well as other native uh, water-wise plants and some vegetables and, and food for the community. Because of that, the garden has, didn't flood as bad as it would have if we did not have the bioswales. Um, we've taken the liberty to take the bioswales and plant potatoes down in the bottom of them, as well as do some composting in some areas, as well as plant on the top of the swale. Um, this way we're getting the most utilization out of the swale. The original concept for the bioswales is a permaculture concept, and the, it's a water management system. And the approach to the water management is to slow the water down and to sink it into the ground and then to spread it out. So with these bioswales, we're recharging our natural aquifers that are below the garden, as well as filtering water and making it, making it cleaner and watering uh, fruit trees and other vegetables without really having to water it per se. Here in Willits, the, it rains a lot, but only for like three or four months out of the year. And so we have to find some way to handle this excess amount of water and to be able to redistribute it out in a, in a way that works for everything. And the bioswales have, have been that answer for us. So with our 10,000 gallon rainwater tank, we are able to irrigate a 1,500 square foot space. And in that space, the amount of food that we get out of it is dependent largely on um, what method of farming we're using. In our no-dig garden bed, where we have heavy mulch and great life going, going on in it, we don't lose much water to evaporation. And with the drip system on it, we're especially water efficient. 
And this allows us to produce a, probably a larger amount of food than you would if you were to do an overhead sprinkler or if you didn't mulch the ground as heavily as we do. The amount of food production is very dependent upon how, what food we grow and how the food is, and how the food is grown. The rainwater in the, in the tank will supply about one third of the water we need for the entire garden. Um, but this year with our demonstration section that we have, it will irrigate a 1,500 square foot garden for three months out of the year. Doing that, you know, we're watering once a day for an hour a day on drip, which is probably excessive for our, for our no-dig bed. And that's at, you know, three and a half gallons per minute at about 32 PSI. And that turns into roughly 8,334 gallons a year that we would use um, just on the, on the drip and, and using that. So the bioswales that are located here on the Willits Integrated Service Center property are providing a true demonstration of water management that is improving the water quality, mitigating wetland loss, providing flood containment, and improving the aesthetic look of the site. Fruit trees have been planted below this bioswales and receive filtered rainwater from the bioswales throughout the winter months. The bioswales have also been planted with native grasses, flowers, shrubs, and provide a high quality example of small scale sustainable water management. The second component of the project includes a small pond. The pond is located within the community garden and brings in biodiversity, aesthetic appeal, and provides opportunity for water planting. The water management of the garden is allowed for community gardeners to cultivate food year-round and helps in showing the effects of slowing, sinking, and spreading water. The Willits Integrated Service Center wishes to say thank you to the City of Willits, the Willits Action Group, and to all the volunteers that help make the bioswales and the ponds a possibility. We are glad to show off our bioswales and our rainwater tank to anybody that would like to come over. Um, we feel that we are a demonstration site for sustainable farming techniques and would invite anybody to come to Willits, California, 221D South Lenore.